Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This particular prophetic word says, this particular woman plans to give you the worst embarrassment of your life. Excuse me, please. This woman plans to give you the worst embarrassment of your life. Now, why would you plan to embarrass somebody? I will tell you why. Like, what is really going on right now in out there in the society? A lot is happening, a lot is going on, and sometimes we just might not understand. That is the gospel truth. You are smiling with somebody who doesn't like you, and sometimes you might never know that they don't like you. Mm -mm. You might never know that they don't like you, because people are very good at pretending. You know, it is only at the tail end that you notice somebody betraying you, and you're asking, you too, really? You know, sometimes the pain about betrayer is not the betrayer. It's the person who did that to you. If it were another person, it would have been okay. But somebody who you're looking at like, come on, is the person who is responsible for all this. The society is turning into something else. The world is going wild. And that is why I've learned to be careful. I can never be careful throughout my life and all the time and in full. But the little that you can be careful about, please do be careful. Life has proven a lot. Today, somebody might be with you and the next day they are changing to be with somebody else. Loyalty is rare to find. And there are people in your circles that you can count who are loyal to you. And as well as there are people in your circles that you cannot even count who are loyal to you. But do you stop interacting with people because they are not loyal? Do you stop interacting with people because you don't feel um, you cannot trust them? No, honey, you don't, you don't stop interacting with people because they are not loyal and because you cannot trust them. But what do you do and how do you interact with such people? You interact with people using wisdom. It is only using wisdom that you can interact again with such people. You know, this particular woman plans to embarrass you and it's going to be a kind of crazy reason that you don't understand. A woman's problem is another woman. I tell you the gospel truth wherever you go. A woman can easily appreciate a man than to appreciate her fellow woman. A woman can easily help a man than helping her fellow woman. A woman can easily stand for a man than standing for her fellow woman. And a woman can stand for a man that is not going to help her, but standing for a fellow woman, maybe there is going to be an outcome, maybe something can change and all that. You know, that is what happens all around the world. You know, I would never forget this particular story because... This was one of my first lessons that I learned about people's characters. You know, as we grow, we always learn. And one day I was teaching on YouTube live and then I spoke about this. And somebody gave me an amazing testimony about what I said also. There was this particular lady. God used me to help the lady. I helped the lady. I gave her clothes. I helped the lady. I gave her money. You know, I gave her advices. I pray with the lady. You know, a lot that I could do for this particular lady. But guess what? The lady never liked me for years. No matter the things I did to this lady, she never liked me for years. You know, and coming to find out the reason why this particular lady never liked me for years, despite the help that I rendered to this lady, despite what the Lord used me. You know, one thing I've got so I've come to realize with myself and settle with myself is that when God is using me to help people, I don't take the credit. You know why? Because if I get to take the credit, I might just not help the next person. Why? Because sometimes, most of the times, the people we help tend to be ungrateful. 
So if you want to take the credits for the people that you help, you might stop helping people because you will help people who cannot even say thank you. You will help people who are so ungrateful. So the best thing is to help the people and go your way. By doing so, you're going to have peace with yourself, knowing that God only used you to help those people. And if you do not help the if you did not help the people, he would have used another person else to help these people. People. So whether you help people, whether they do appreciate you or not, never ever stay in that particular position whereby you're going to be like, I'm not going to help you again because of this. God used you. And if he did not use you, he would have used another person else. If you settle that in your mind, you're going to live a better life with people around you. So this particular lady, despite the help that I helped her, she hated me with so much, like her hatred was visible. Everybody could see it. She hated me because she was in love with somebody who kept saying that he loves Ethel. So that was the problem. So because he, she loved somebody who loved Ethel, that was where the problem was. And then I asked myself, am I even with the person? That's the question I ask myself. Am I even with a person? So all the hatred that you kept hating on me was in vain. And then I ask myself, how would you allow the devil to use you in that manner? How would you allow the devil to use you in that extent? There is a woman who is planning to give you the baddest and the most worst embarrassment in your life because of another man. And I'm talking to you right now. This is a similar case. They are so much in love with somebody who loves you so much. And they just cannot take it. They want to give you the worst embarrassment of your life because of jealousy, because of hatred. Please, I beg you, this is an aside. Never fight another woman because of a man. The man might not still have you. The man might not still come to you. It will be a waste of time. You must have tarnished your image and your reputation. I beg you in the name of God. Never fight another woman because of a man. This will help you. It will go a long way to help you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Somebody is planning to embarrass you because of another man. They want to embarrass you because of this man. They want to, they want to, they want to do something. And my prayer for you is that they can even harm you. But my prayer for you is that let God preserve and protect you. I cover you with the precious blood of Jesus. You are covered in Jesus' mighty name. Please share this video to as many people as possible. This is the kind of video that you must share. Somebody planning something negative. This is the kind of video that you must share. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much, I do. I love you, I do. I love you so much. Please do not forget to pray for me as the spirit of the Lord leads you. Always pray for me, please. Intercede for me. Your prayers are working in my life. Never stop praying for me. I beg you in the name of God. Always intercede for me. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly and God bless you abundantly. I love you. Shalom.